up, y'all? I got back on this camera. I watched the episode. <laughs> I watched episode two last night, literally the night that I filmed that review, and I told y'all I probably wasn't going to do it till Friday or Saturday. Episode two was even better than episode one, but please thumbs up the video. Drop comments down below. Like I said, I cannot stress it enough. Engagement helps the channel. It helps the videos. It helps, period. And it's free. I'm not asking y'all to pay me nothing. Just hit that button real quick. Drop a comment. If you do jump on the video and you like what you're hearing from me, just hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be here the whole season. I already know I am. This is probably going to be the first season that I finish from start to finish <laughs> with the challenge because this cast is perfect. Like They literally have some of the best all-stars, the best personalities. And Cam even being the only Are You The One um, representation, she's the only one that I feel should be on the show. Like, she's the only one that I'm okay with being on All-Stars. Nobody else needs to join it besides Road Rules, Real World, Challengers. That's it. But Cam, the only one outside of that that should be there. But, um, yeah, good episode. We're going to get into it, and let's go. All right, so we get back to the house from the elimination. We get Ayana. She's sitting there talking to Ryan. And she's talking to her confessionals about how her reputation is like known as like the strong, silly, joking Ariana. I mean, Ariana, Ayana. And she's talking about at the end of the day, at the end of the day, she's there for that money. She's there for the $250,000. She knows it's life changing money for her family and she wants to win. So we're kind of setting up the storyline because as we know, if you watch a lot of these shows, you know, at the beginning of the episodes, typically kind of the editors kind of give you a clue of who's going to be the main focal point of the episode. And this is when I knew Ayana was going to be in this mess. And uh, same thing with Janelle, but we'll get to that later. But um, Ryan says that he loves Ayana, but sometimes she gets in her own way, which is true. Um, but I'm like, that's setting the tone for the episode. Like her getting in her own way essentially is <laughs> literally is it's, it's poetic. But we get no Nicole and Laurel. They're in the kitchen. Laurel's sitting there eating while Nicole's just walking around trying to find something to eat. And they're not paying. They're not paying any attention to each other. They're not talking to each other. It's low key awkward. They're walking by each other in close spaces, not saying anything, not doing anything. Um, and Laurel's in her confessionals claiming that Nicole is in her past and she's moving forward. We know that's bullshit because she said that how many times before and still ended up back with Nicole. And we know that's gonna happen. It's just only a matter of time, but. Jasmine is noticing the tension between those two, and she's like, I hope it helps my game if they end up going against each other. And she says she'll do what she needs to do. Like, at the end of the day, they're both strong competitors. They're both strong women that she has to go up against. So if it comes down to them being in the elimination and one of them leaving or both of them leaving, it's good for Jasmine. But um, everybody's out back enjoying their time, having fun. This is the next day. They're out slipping, sliding, dry, uh, sliding down the slides, getting in the pool. Tina is getting emotional and her confessional is talking about how she's just excited to be here. It's a good time for her. She's back with Rachel and Veronica. They have not been together in a challenge house in probably two decades. So she's excited to be back with them. It's kind of like old times. And Cara is actually outside with them. The three of them are out there in the pool and they're talking about like the stars and like the strategies of what people are going to do with the stars. Cause you know, you have to get a star to run the final, but you got to keep that star to get to the final. So she knows if you have the star, you're going to be likely at risk for possibly having to go into an elimination. But Carr says if anybody tries to take her star, they're drawing a line in the sand with her. And Rachel says it's kind of like an unspoken thing that her, Veronica, and Tina have where they're going to automatically have each other's back, obviously. But her priority is to get them stars now because she has her. She wants to get them some. And she's stating that she's not upset that Avery has a star. And I'm thinking in my mind, you're not upset because you think that Tina or Veronica can get that star off of her. And essentially, she ain't said the same thing about Carmen Maria because she knows them two ain't getting that. They're not getting that star off of her unless it's something mental. Um, well, actually, you know what? Well, Tina, Tina's older. If it was Tina back in the day, I'd say Tina would stand a good chance against Car in a physical elimination. But Veronica, no. Um, in terms of mental, she definitely could beat Carmen Maria. So I don't know. We'll see. But... Um, Avery, we get her <clears throat> talking to Derek and she's talking about how it's her first time in the house without having pre-existing relationships with competitors that are already in the game that have pre-existing relationships that kind of keep her covered because of their relationships like with Naya and with Jordan and Johnny 
she already had relationships with them to where if they wanted to look out for her and they already had numbers on their side, it would benefit her. So this is the first time she's on her own. And she feels like she's an easy target to get out because of that. But Jasmine and Cam, we get them talking. Cam's trying to figure out who she wants to form relationships with because she hasn't played with these people before. So she's trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to work this cast now? And she's asking um, Jasmine how she is with Ayana. Like, what's her thoughts on Ayana? Because she's trying to feel everybody out. And Jasmine made this face like... She said, last in All Stars 2, Ayana was literally getting into arguments with everybody every other day, which it was. And it was good TV. Like, it was great TV. But for playing the game, I see why Jasmine was a little bit like, uh-uh. But um, Jasmine told her that, and Cam said that she notices that Ayana and Janelle got some type of animosity, and she's watching her. Cam is already looking at her. Like I said, we're kind of setting a tone for these two possibly button heads in the future. Let me turn this fan on. Because <laughs> it's hot. And I just turned the light on. I don't know if that's going to look better. But um, we get to the mission. We get to the mission. Leroy is nervous because he sees that it's pretty much like a heights over water type of thing. And there's a car involved. And the last time he had a heights over water with a car involved, he ended up face down in the water unconscious. TJ comes rolling up on an RV. Obviously, the Road Rules uh, crew, they're having nostalgic moments. They're excited to see it. Kind of gives them just reminiscence to memories of what they did on Road Rules, which is such a good show. And I heard that they're bringing it back. So hopefully it's as good as it was then. But if you didn't watch it, I think it's on Paramount Plus. So we'll try and find it. All right. The mission is called Car Seat. They're playing these in teams. I'm just gonna run through the uh I'm gonna run through the instructions. They load the van with the luggage with various stickers. It's hoisted 30 feet in the air. It'll get lowered down. While they're up there, they have to listen to these clues from this radio, the DJ, which is TJ, pretty much giving them clues on um certain stickers for certain luggage luggages, and they have to use the clues to solve the equation to then open the lock that's on the luggage to open up to get the puzzle pieces to go ahead and complete the puzzle. Once they finish it, the time stops. The fastest team wins. The two slowest teams are up for elimination. So it's a girls' elimination day today, too, so the girls are at risk. The first team is the blue team. I'm going to – y'all already know I'm going through it. With the missions, y'all, I'm not going to be going too in-depth if it's not a lot of drama going on. But the blue team got Janelle, Jasmine, Derek, and Ryan right off the gate. I'm like, this is going to be a team that's probably going to be in the bottom. They have no strategy at all. Janelle is essentially the one spearhead in the group to finish. Took them a while to finish. Ayana's noticing that she is the one that's kind of like the leader of the team. And they just don't feel confident about their time when they finish. They knew they was going to be up for Jeopardy. The next team was the light blue team, which was Rachel, Ayana, Keefla, and Flora. This is the road rules team, like all road rules. Flora was cracking me up. She was chilling, letting them work. The other three was just getting it done. Ayana and Rachel, they were doing the math. They ended up getting the lock open super fast. Keefla finished the puzzle. And they start dancing and chanting, go old school, go old school. And they finished that shit fast. I was like, okay, I'm impressed. Like, these old heads still got it. But Janelle was sitting there talking about how it's interesting, and it's going to be interesting to see how her and Ayana's relationship unfolds. And she said she knows that we as the viewers find Ayana entertaining, which we do. But living with her is a different story, which I can agree it probably is. I think she probably would get on my nerves sometimes, but for the most part, I know I would be sitting in the cut laughing at the shit that she's doing. As long as she ain't doing it to me, I would be laughing. But the green team is Ace, Car, Maria, Avery, and Brad. Avery is scared that if they lose, she could go in because she got a star and Car does too. But she knows out of her, Car, and Rachel, she's the easiest person to get a star off of. Like, Nobody wants to go up against Car and nobody wants to go up against Rachel. So who's the best bet? Avery. So they're struggling to get the math done, as would I. Math has never been my strong point. I've always been an English history dude, not a math or science person, but they're struggling with it. Laurel's sitting there talking about how Car Maria is moving with no sense of urgency. She starts talking about their history, which is foreshadowing for the future. As we know, they have a rocky history as well. Sometimes they're on good terms, sometimes they're not. Um, they ended up finishing theirs. The orange team is Leroy, Cam, Veronica, and Brandon. Leroy apparently has been working on his math. He finished the lock. They finished their team. The peach team is Tina, Adam, and Steve. 
most thing I wanted to talk about was the fact that whenever they was up there on the on the top of the RV throwing the luggages off, Tina was down there and Tina was trying to run to go get to the puzzle pieces. And I don't know who it was. It was either Steve or Adam. One of them threw that luggage down and it almost hit Tina. I'm like, they just throwing them shits down like she ain't standing down there. But the yellow team is Tony, Laurel, Nicole. Laurel and Nicole on the same team. And Jay. Jay's whack ass. But Laurel's stating that anytime she has to interact with Nicole, it's a bad time. And Nicole is saying they're probably not going to speak. And of course, Laurel being who Laurel is, she has to be in control of any and everything. She's barking orders to everybody, including Nicole. So they worked They worked pretty well together in terms of that. Like they weren't really working together, but they were just, they, they want to win. At the end of the day, if you want to win, you got to figure out how to put that bullshit to the side just to get the win. And they got it together. Like they finished this. This team was the fastest team, clearly, but we'll get to it. The top two teams was the yellow and the light blue team. And um, the yellow team won. Duh. The producers ended up talking to the yellow team in their confessional interview type thing. And they were talking about how Laura and Nicole worked well together. And both of them agreed. We didn't even really work together. Like, it is what it is. And then Nicole starts trying to tell her, like, I wish you well. But respectfully, don't talk to me the rest of the game. And as she's trying to do this, Laura's like, la, 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 making all these noises, trying to drown her. I'm like, they are so fucking childish. <laughs> like, it's crazy. But this is how you know they still got that. They still got all that shit that they still are going to do. Because it's it, you can tell they don't have like a, a split where it's just like, I genuinely don't want to fuck with you anymore. You can tell they still got tension, like everybody says, and that tension is probably sexual tension. But like I said, they probably gonna end up back together, at least for this for this season. We're gonna see it. We're gonna see it. Remember, I told y'all on what time is it? Six fifty p.m. Eastern Standard Time, April eleventh. We'll see it in the future episodes. <laughs> but um, the two slowest teams, Peach and Blue. Jasmine, second time in the bottom. She's worried. She's like. Do I even deserve to be here at this point? Like she's she's literally getting irritated with being last every time. So I've obviously, as we know, the middle group, they get to go back and nominate the two women that are going to be in the arena to do the elimination. So they get back to the house. Janelle's never been in the bottom, so she never knows what to do in this situation because she's never had to. So now she's trying to figure out what to do and she wants to start. So she's telling Cam and Ayana. And she's got a strategy as to why she's telling Ayana. It didn't work in her favor, but this is what she's doing. She told them that she wants to go in and get her star. And she notices that her and Ayana obviously are not close. So she wants to do this as a way of showing, like, I trust you enough to tell you this is what my plan is. She says that Tina will likely stay off because she's got um, relationships. So she feels like Tina has the votes to keep her out of being nominated. So it's between her and Jasmine. And she's basically saying, like, Y'all can decide between the two. Ayana says, you ain't getting nothing. She ain't say it to her, but she said it in her confessionals. You ain't getting nothing out of me if you ain't bringing me something. I got to respect it because honestly, I feel it. Like, I feel it. But the two options to send her in are two of Ayana's best friends, which is Jasmine and Tina. Well, not best friends, just friends. And Janelle ends up leaving and going and campaigning to the guys. They all agree to do what she wants. So they all head out to the bar. Tony starts talking about how um, the hurricane that happened in 2021, I think in New Orleans, um, it almost took his family out. He starts getting emotional talking about how his, how his family, his kids, and Alyssa are like his biggest fans, and he just does not want to let them down. Tony is emotional now. Like, we ain't got cheating Tony, the the drama starter Tony, anymore. It seems like he's, he's turned a new leaf. He's grown up a little bit, so that's good for him. Is it good for TV? Probably not, but good for him. But Cam... Cam ends up pulling Laura to the side, and this was so funny because Cam, this is this is why I miss Cam. Cam is messy. <laughs> she pulls Laura to the side and asks her if she would go into an elimination with Nicole. Because as we know, they can choose to go into the elimination if they want to. And Cam is doing this because she knows probably between her, Laura, Nicole, Car Maria, and Rachel, that's that's the top echelon. Those are the top girls. So Cam's like, why not put them two in there? So essentially, she's working her magic in a way that's not really saying, I want y'all to go down there and take each other out. Cam said, like, y'all can literally go down there and replace um, the girls and go down there and get your start. Like, go get your start. And Laura says, she, she, 
I want to go get my star. That's what I want. And I know I can get somebody out of here. And Cam's kind of like pushing her to do it. And she said in her confessionals that Laurel Strong and Nicole is too, I guess. And I died laughing. <laughs> I died laughing at that. But she said, y'all already got an issue, so go down there and hash it out. And I would love to see it. I said, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Cam is hilarious. Hilarious. But Laura said she'd love to go down there and smash her head. And Cam said, her head, specifically, Nicole's. She is being so messy, but it is so funny. But Laura said, of course. Of course I would want to do that. But Ryan is talking to Ayanna, Tina, Veronica, Ace, and Rachel <clears throat> about Janelle wanting to go down in there. And she um, and he says, do we grant her the opportunity to go ahead and do it? Because that's what she wants to do. And Ayanna said, no. And I said, thank you, because that's why I don't like the flagship show. They do what people ask them to do. That's not fun. We don't want to watch y'all just do everything that somebody asks you to do. Make a show. Ayanna's there to make a show. So she said, no. And I'm like, thank you, because I wouldn't do it either. But the girls, she said the girls got their stars, a.k.a. Car Maria, Avery, and Rachel. They got their stars by busting their ass. And Janelle needs to go down there and fight and bust her ass to get her home. And Ayanna then twisted. Here she go. Being messy. She said Janelle is actively lobbying for Jasmine to be her opponent to go in there. She never said that. But Ayanna is playing the game. I can't be mad at it. <laughs> so she's doing that. And Ryan's like, so she's lying to Jasmine's face, saying that she didn't do that. And Ayanna said, yep. She's going for the most vulnerable person in the house. I'm like, damn, here we go. Because <laughs> Ayana, like I said last, like I said in the last episode with the recap, Ayana is an acquired taste. Somebody like me who's not super sensitive, I wouldn't be bothered by her. Like, I would not be bothered by her. Somebody like uh, Janelle, which we're going to talk about in a minute, would get bothered by her. And she was. But um, Ayana knows that she's being messy. She said, you got to play the game. Like, I'm here to play a game, and I'm going to play the game and see what happens. Like, you got to take risks. And I'm like, at this point, I'm, ex I'm excited that you are taking risks because a, a player I want to see is somebody that does, tries everything out. Don't do everything that's always worked. Like, try something different and make it entertaining. That's what it is. That's why we love the old school people because they don't care. Like, they play the game to play the game. They don't just be in here trying to be best friends with everybody. But um, Tina's not mad about it. Because she knows at the end of the day, if it's those two in there, she's safe. So Ayana is working her magic because Ryan, is he ain't with her wanting to vote, uh, get Jasmine in there. So Janelle is catching wind because Brandon told her what Ayana's over there doing. And now she's starting to get frustrated as she's talking to Laurel. And she's saying that Ayana's essentially all about drama. Low-key, she is. <laughs> Low-key. But we're grateful for it. But Car Maria pulls Jasmine and tells uh, her that Janelle is trying to get a star off of her because that's what she's heard. And Jasmine's like, okay, well, if she said my name, I want to hear her say it to my face, essentially. That's what she's telling Brad. And Brad was like, she didn't say that. And I thought that if she really meant that she wanted you to go in, she would have said it. So he's pretty much backing Janelle saying she never said that. But Jasmine said, okay, well, let's go ask her. <laughs> I'm like, I would have done the same thing. It's all a bunch of word of mouth. Let me go straight to the source. Did you do this? So Jasmine goes to confront her, and Janelle is in front of it. Like, everybody's around the table except for Ayana. Ayana's over on the side talking to somebody. I can't remember who it was, but she's seeing it, and she's peeping everything, and she loves it. But Jasmine asks her, and um, Janelle denies it. She's like, no, I never said that. I literally told all of y'all, y'all can decide who it is. Didn't I say that? And they was like, yeah, you did say that. And Ayana's sitting on the side eating it up because she knows it's just a bunch of mess because Janelle is getting irritated. But the next day, Tina is talking to Avery, <clears throat> saying it's easier to work with her than against her, a.k.a. like, you need to not vote my name in. <laughs> like, you need to not vote my name in. And Avery's saying that she knows that, but she sees the benefit of putting both her and Janelle in because they're stronger compared to Jasmine, which is true. Tina says, that's okay, but if I come back, then what? <laughs> I was like, boom, <laughs> exactly. But I'm glad Avery was not trying to let her strong arm her. But Tina says she doesn't want to strong arm her but if you put me in that position and I come back, I ain't got no other choice. That is true as well. But Avery says that she does. She feels like she's being threatened because she's been out of the game so long. I'm like, Avery, tough enough. Don't start using those words. You're playing the game. Because that's essentially what it is. But Veronica starts talking about how the conversation is not going to go the way that they want it to go. Because Tina is not a political player. She's very straightforward. She's very sharp with her, with her delivery. And that's just how it is. And Veronica read the situation exactly the way it went, because that's exactly how it went. But Tina ends up telling Janelle in the middle of a hallway, like going down the stairs, 
that if she wants Jasmine to just fucking say it. And Janelle starts getting irritated again, getting defensive. I never said that. So the conversation moves over to the living room. There's a couple people, well, not a couple, it's a good amount of people in there. And Janelle is standing 10 toes about how she did not say that. She's being honest. And Janelle said, like, she did it to get the blood off of the house, make it an easy vote. It's cool that she could do that, but for TV, it's not that exciting. But well, that's what she did. And that's what she said. And that's literally what happened. But Tina said, and she pretty much tells Tina too, because Tina's like, yeah, just be honest. And Tina, she's like, Tina, you could stay. I will go. Like, I'll leave. And she starts crying. I'm like, here we go. Here we go. But word on the curb is from the spoiler pages, they said something else happened. I can't remember exactly what, but they said something else happened that was not shown. Whatever. But she um, starts crying and says it's not that serious. She has kids and a family at home. Like, whatever. You can stay. I will go. Ayana is standing there saying, this is what she do. She try to pull that sympathy card. When she got a game plan, she does what she wants to do. She plays in people's face. She gaslights people. She just literally sticking that knife in and twisting it as she's sitting there crying. And Janelle is literally having a breakdown and she's sitting there dancing. Ayana is dancing. I'm like, this girl is crazy. <laughs> but Laurel is pretty much saying the same thing I am. She's like, I understand she's a nice person and everything. Talking about uh, Janelle. But you playing a game. At the end of the day, fuck them people. You got $250,000 on the line. Block that shit out and keep it moving. I'm like, exactly. Fuck them. Use all that frustration in that elimination. Go in there. It don't matter who you're going in there against. Use all that in there. Come back and then rebuild those relationships. Because essentially, you know that you can, you can prove it. You can prove it. Like, you can prove it. But they get to the nominations. This was funny. Boy, this was funny. Avery votes in Tina. I'm just going to skip through it. Avery votes in Tina because she doesn't want to be bullied into playing somebody else's game. Let's stop using the word bully because you're not being bullied. And I feel like, granted, I feel like grown adults cannot be bullied, even though sometimes people are bullies and try to bully somebody. But I feel like as a grown adult, you should be able to defend yourself. But if somebody is attacking you, if you're attacking somebody knowing they're not going to defend themselves, you are a bully. But this was not bad. She was just literally pleading her case very, very aggressively. <laughs> like, that's just really what it was. By Ayana, it comes to her turn to vote. At this point, it's seven votes Tina to go in, 10 for Janelle to go in, and three for Jasmine to go in. Ayana votes in Janelle, obviously. And then she goes on this long ass tangent about how she's going to ride for Tina and Jasmine. Like, they start playing a little music and saying, she said, if you come to her, you're going to have to tell me something. She said, consider me the grocery store. You're going to eat good, but you're going to have to pay for it. <laughs> I was like, all these analogies that she was using was cracking me up. But Leroy and Cam was sitting there looking like, bitch, are you going to get to the fucking point at this point? Because both of them were sick of it. And everybody else was sick of it too. But Leroy says, who are you voting for? And everybody started laughing. And she said, hold up, don't cut me off. She got serious with him. And I was like, uh-oh, here we go. So she goes back on another tangent. Cam said that shit was going on for damn near 45 minutes. I'm like, really? If that was for real, I'd have tripped. But Flora said, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Flora's confessionals are hilarious. It's funny because she's so she's so blunt, but that Ukrainian accent just makes it so funny because she's so serious. She'd be saying stuff so deadpan. And you can tell she's not trying hard in confessionals, which is what these people on the flagship show do, which makes the show cringe, which is why I love this show. Because we got all these old heads just being themselves and Cam. <laughs> but um, they go to that point and Ayana's saying like, I'm not saying Tina or Jasmine. And I hope we can convince Laurel and Nicole to go down. But I'm voting in Jasmine. That's literally what she did. And I said, what? <laughs> and then Cara said, huh? Leroy said, I thought you wasn't voting in Jasmine. And Brandon, Brandon's laugh, the way he laughed was me. I was... <laughs> I was like, this chick is crazy. But she's amazing television. Amazing television. But Ayana and Leroy, they kind of slick get into it to the point where he gets so irritated with her and walks off. Laurel and the winners are out there because obviously they're not in the nomination room. And they're trying to calm him down and everything. And then you get Leroy and, and Cam and their confessional talk about uh, Cam said, I'd rather eat denim jackets than to listen to her speeches. And Leroy said he'd rather shove toothpicks under his toenails and start kicking walls as hard as he can. I said, damn. <laughs> These analogies are crazy. But Janelle is in another room talking to Cam and Leroy saying that she wants to leave. 
because she does not want to be a part of it anymore. She says she just wants to prioritize her mental health because she just does not want to be around that toxic energy anymore. And she tells them that she hopes that they do well. And Cam said, like, in her confession, was like, you're playing a game. These people are going to irritate you. Try and get the people out that are irritating you. I'm like, exactly. But she said, I understand prioritizing your mental health. Also, I agree. But Jasmine realizes that uh, Janelle's words are being manipulated and it's fucked up how Ayana got her leaving the house. Janelle said, like, she got a wonderful family at home. Like, she's good. Like, I'm good. I will leave. I'm away from this toxic energy. And she said people are going to see Ayana for who they, uh, who she is. And it's true. People are going to see it. So we're going to see. But the soundtrack is A1. I forget what song it was. It was like a leaving song. Perfect. Like the old school music with the old school people. This is perfect. And that's another reason why I don't like the flagship show. Because they play that dumb, stupid rock music. This shit is good stuff. But Ayana is the only one not saying bye. She said, I'm not saying bye to her ass. She can kiss my ass. I was <laughs> like, she is crazy. But this was the one thing I did not watch. Nicole and Laurel, fast forward. I'm not doing it. I'm not talking about them with that dumb shit. But we get to the elimination. Tina gets called down, obviously, because she got voted in with Janelle, but Tina's the only one there. So TJ pretty much goes through the elimination where her lets her know that she does not have an opponent. So he goes up and asks Laurel and Nicole if they want to come down and actually fight her. And Laurel said no, even though she was shaking her head. Yes, at first I was like, oh, she's going to go down there. She said no. Nicole said no. So Tina automatically wins the elimination because nobody wants to go down there and it's an automatic forfeit. So of course Tina gets to go steal a star. And whose star do y'all think she stole? Avery's. And she was so excited about it. <laughs> and Rachel was excited too because now that's two of the three mean girls. I was about to put two fours. Two of the three mean girls that have stars now. All they got left is Veronica. And then they can try and fight to hold it to the end. But Ryan also said, like, the claws are about to come out. We came in here on that kumbaya shit, and now he knows it's about to get turned the fuck up. And it is, and I'm I'm living for it. Great TV. If you are not watching this, get Paramount Plus and go watch it. Quality TV. And it's uncensored. That's the part that I love. Do not ever put this shit on MTV. Keep it on here. If it's on Paramount, if you put it on Peacock, it's probably going to even be even better. But keep it on streaming services. Keep it uncensored. Keep the cast the way it is. Don't put no new people on here. It's perfect. It's literally perfect. But let me know y'all's thoughts. Drop a comment down below. I'm about to run to this gym. I do two a days. I'm about to hit this cardio. And I will see y'all later. I'm going to put this up later too. Bye.